Hi. This is a quick guide on how you can set up your computer as a software developer at a beginner level. Well, before we dive in into these uh, tutorials, I have a PowerPoint slide that I want us to run through. And also at the same time, want to encourage you by showing you the available jobs waiting for you. If you have a skill today in the 21st century, job is often for you. What matters is your skill. When you have the skills, there are a lot of companies, individuals who are looking for experts at beginner levels, at expert level. Now, first of all, let me show you this. There is something called Slack or a community which is called Slack. Now, this Slack is a platform that a range of developers connect and share a available job. Local job within your country, also jobs that are outside the country. Look at this. These are some of the jobs. Look at this. This is a job in Lagos. And what they are looking at is somebody with these skills, mean stack. What is this mean stack? It's a technology which we're going to discuss more about it. And also, look at the salary, which is good for a senior developer. Okay, when you move around, also this is another job at Ibadan, and they are looking for an entry level, mid level. Okay, and also this is another job. So jobs are there every day, every single second, every single minute, every single day, every single minute. Look at the jobs. So what matters is your skill. Do you have the capacity to be able to fit into the team? Do you have the know-how? Do you have the skill? And also there are another popular platform that you can be able to search for a job, which is called LinkedIn. Now, when you have a LinkedIn account, if you don't have one, create another. Quickly create an account on LinkedIn. Search for any types of job you want. For example, if you're a data scientist, what you need to do is to just type in data analysts or data science. When you do that, you have a range of jobs that are available for you to apply. But what matters is, like I've mentioned earlier, you need to have the skills, you need to have the know-how before you can be able to have this job. If you're a software engineer, you can type in for software engineering job. So what matters is your skill. Do you have the skills? Are you ready to be able to put in your time? Are you be able to work five hours, six hours, seven hours in a day for you to build up your career, for you to be able to build up your skills? The jobs are there waiting for you. Now, going into the uh, guides, I want us to understand this concept. What is this software engineering? You've been hearing about this software engineering, and uh, some of you that apply for software engineering as a course, you need to understand what is software engineering. So I'm going to take this at a basic level. Now, I have this, which says a software engineer is just like a building with instruction, but instead of using bricks, you use code to create program that can run on computer. This program can do a lot, a lot of things. For example, I believe a lot of us play games, a lot of us chat on Instagram, on Twitter, or WhatsApp, which I believe some cannot for a single day drop their mobile device without chatting, without talking to their friends. A lot of us use our mobile devices to send money to friends, to receive money. So all these applications we've been using are developed by software engineers. So in a simple term, it means a software engineering is a kind of uh, a guide or a kind of 
a process where an individual put himself into a journey of learning. Simple example is we have been a lot of trouble in Nigeria, in Africa, and the rest. But the issue here is how can we use software engineering as a tool, as a profession for us to be able to develop a solution that can address this enormous problem? Let's take an example. A lot of people will be thinking that, okay, I'm going to travel. But if you're not going to travel to the East, there are a lot of challenges. You cannot be able to book your ticket. You cannot be able to book for those vehicles, I mean, to come to your home and take you to wherever you want to go. So these are areas, these are problems that we need to address them with help of software engineering techniques, software engineering principles. But how can we do that? To achieve that, you first of all need to understand the basics. The basics include you having the mindset, because if you don't have the mindset, you cannot be able to become a software engineer. I can tell you a story. If you're a software engineer, you are developing a solution, there will be a time whereby you'll be battling to solve a problem a simple problem that can take you up to a week, trying to know what is happening, why this is not working. Maybe you are developing a financial application that you can send money from your account to a friend, but you'll be sending, but it's not going. So that's what, a challenge. So if you don't have the mindset, you cannot be able to key into this, put your mindset there, I learned this concept. Now, we have different set of software engineers because, like I've said, a software engineering is like what? Following an instruction, creating a solution when there's a problem. Now, in this note, when you have to develop a solution, you need to have it like how architects work. You need to have the design, you need to have the concept in place. So that can help you to be able to design the solution properly, to be able to attain whatsoever solution you are trying to develop. Now, we have three fundamental type of software engineers. Let's move to the next slide. Number one is front end engineers, which are this set of engineers are those ones that focus on what end user sees. For example, if you type in on Google, you are trying to search for an information. It is the job of front-end software engineers to be able to develop those solutions that you can be able to see whatever you type on the Google search. The beauty, the look and feel, the color are all designed by uh, software engineers who specialize on front-end solution. And now we have another sort of developers, which we call them back-end engineers. Now, this type of engineers focus more on how a solution can be developed or how a logic can be developed. For example, if you are filling a form, you fill a form online, you put your email address, you put your name, you put all the necessary details. The work of front-end engineers is to provide you with those placeholders, to provide you with those field, provide you with the interface where you can be able to provide with those details. While the back-end engineers will be the one to write the logic, will be the one to write the algorithms, will be the one to create the uh, protocols or the method that can take those your information and dump it somewhere, which is called a database. So that's one, speci one, one, one speciality. 
Now, the next part is push tag engineers. Now, a push tag engineers are experienced developers. They can be able to develop the front end and also they can be able to develop the back end, which means as a post tag engineer, you can be able to work with every aspect of software engineering. So the question here is, how can we set up our computer? I believe I have given the fundamentals. This is just an introductory. I believe if the course start fully, we'll be able to understand a lot in terms of software engineering, in terms of AI, in terms of data analytics and the rest. So, but how can I set up my computer as a beginner in the field of software engineering? First of all, you need to have your computer, whether it is a Mac computer that has a Mac OS or a Windows computer, which is HP, Lenovo, and the rest. When you have those computers, there are tools that need to be set up on the computer before you can be able to practice being a front-end engineer or to practice being a back-end software engineer or to be a full-stack software engineer. Now, to do that, we have something called text editor or an IDE, which is Integrated Development Environment. Now, this Integrated Development Environment are kind of tools for those of us that use Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel. This integrated development environment or text editor are like that. If you want to compose a letter, you want to write a memo, you need to have Microsoft Word installed on your computer. Similarly, as a software engineer, if you are to develop a solution, you need to have these tools installed on your computer. They are the guideline, they are the mediums that will enable you to develop a comprehensive a robust software tools or software as a solution. Now, today we are going to practice on installing a Visual Studio code on our computer as a beginner. Like I mentioned, text editors are just like the Microsoft we install on our computer for us to be able to type in a letter or type in a memo. Similarly, as a software engineer, you need to have one of these tools, either Visual Studio Code, Sublime Text, PyCharm, Android Studio, WebStorms, and so many more of them that are there. But the tools that are mostly used by software developers, whether front-end developers or back-end developers or full-stack software engineers, are Visual Studio Code. Because this Visual Studio Code is pre an open source tool that you can use it to develop any type of solution. If you want to develop a front-end solution or a back-end solution, you can be able to use this tool. Now let's get into the next slide, which is how do we install this Visual Studio code on our computer? Now I have this link with me. Copy the link and open your browser. I'm going to open it. I will open a new tab on my computer, paste in the link. Now, these are different versions of Visual Studio Code. If you have a Windows computer, a computer that has Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 11, you have to click on this one. If you have a computer that has an Ubuntu installed on it, you have to go for this. If you have a Mac, that's a computer that has Mac OS installed on it, you have to go with this version of the Visual Studio. On my computer, I have Windows installed, so I have to click on this, download. The download is supposed to start 
automatically but if it hasn't started you have to click this okay the size of the visual studio is very light it's a light software that can be installed within few seconds few seconds if you have downloaded it and you are ready to install within few seconds not up to a minute you can be able to install this software now my own has downloaded I'll click on it it will ask me to run which I will agree I run accept the agreement install like I've said in few seconds the Visual Studio can be installed on your computer now I have it installed so now I can open the Visual Studio code on my system here is Visual Studio code now this Visual Studio code like I've mentioned you can use it to develop a front-end solution you can use it to develop a back-end solution